Hello and welcome to another video about Windows Server 2019. In this video, we will configure NIC teaming with DHCP reservation. In the last video demonstration, we have seen how we can install and configure DHCP server role on Windows Server 2019. For this demonstration, I have two virtual machines and both are running on Windows Server 2019. This is our member server. As you can see, the name is there ws2k19-sav01. This server is part of our domain malware.local. And on this server, I have total three Ethernet adapter and all are set to obtain IP address automatically from DHCP server. This is the, our second virtual machine, which is our domain controller for mylab.local domain. And as you can see, the IP address is there, 172.18.72.5. In the last video, we have installed and configured DHCP server on this Windows Server 2019. Let's open DHCP management console by clicking on tools and then selecting DHCP. I'm going to expand our server name expand IP version 4 and here you can see I have one scope with address pool 172.18.72.100 to 72.254. Let's go back to our member server where we want to configure and I see teaming first. And as a teaming is a very nice Windows networking feature that let us use more than one adapter in a pair mode for better speed and more redundancy. When enabling NRC teaming, we'll need at least two network adapters present on Windows Server machine. For this demonstration, we have three. So first we will configure NRC teaming and then we will go for the TSCP reservation. Uh, let me click on this link to open network connections. And these are the my three network adapter. Uh, I'm going to show you the MAC address of uh, my first adapter. Let's click on details and here you can see AD51. Let's select the second one, status and detail. And this is 06BB. And the third one is 6443. Uh, see, I'm using Oracle VM VirtualBox so that we can see it from settings console as well. Okay, here those MAC addresses are there. So in case if you need those MAC addresses, you can get that from the settings as well. Okay. Now I'm going to click on this disabled link to enable NS teaming. Fine. As you can see right now, we don't have NIC team created on this computer. Let's click on task and select new team. Here we need to specify the name. In our case, it will be a mylab underscore team one. Now here we have a total three adapter and all three we want to include in this NIC team. So first I'm going to select ethernet. Second, I'm going to select ethernet two. And third, I'm going to select ethernet three. Now I'm going to click on additional properties. And here we are using teaming mode, switch independent and the load balancing mode will be dynamic. Let's click on okay. So in VirtualBox, uh, it will take some time to bring all those interface into active mode. And then after your NIC team will be in OK status. OK, fine. All adapters are in active state and our NIC team is also in OK status. Let me minimize this and let's go back to Network Connections Console. Here we have our team adapter. Let's right click on it and click on status. Fine, as you can see, the speed is 3.0 Gbps. I'm going to click on details. And here, our IP address is also there, which is assigned from DHCP server. And the most important part is this physical address. As you can see, the MAC address, this is the MAC address of our team one. Let's go to the machine and I'm going to click on settings. So we want to confirm that exactly which is the MAC address, means from which adapter and as a team is getting this MAC address. Let's click on network. Click on advanced and under advanced, here you can see the MAC address is there. So it is ED51. Uh, actually, it's a, it has 06 BB. Let's click on adapter 2. And here, this is the MAC address of our adapter 2 
which is assigned to our team adapter. Let's check on adapter 3, it is a separate one. So we can simply say that this MAC address is exactly coming from our adapter 2. We'll talk about this later on that why I'm showing this. We have one thing that we want to discuss later on. But now we want to uh, go for the DHCP reservation as well. So let's go back to our DHCP server and I'm going to click on reservation, right click and select new reservation. Here I'm going to specify reservation name. It is demo one and we want to assign IP address 172.18.72.311. Now here we need a MAC address as well. So I'm going to open PowerShell. Let's ping the IP address of that server. Uh, as you can see, we are not receiving a replay from that server. The reason is pretty simple one, because firewall is blocking ICMP echo packets. Let's run command R5A. And here we have the MAC address. Fine, let's copy it and let's paste here. Let's remove dashes. Fine, I'm not going to specify any description. So let's simply click on add button. Click on yes and close. Let's click on okay. I'm going back on our member server. Let's open PowerShell here as well. Let's release the IP address and now we are going for the renewal. So it is taking some time for uh, DHCP IP address renewal. So after waiting for a few seconds, at least now we have IP address from our DHCP server. And this time you can see IP version 4 address is 172.1872.311, which uh, is from DHCP reservation. Let's confirm it. I'm going to click on address leases. Let's refresh there. And here we can see this is the IP address 172.1872.311. And as you can see, the reservation is in active condition. Now here you can see unique ID is there and uh, the MAC address is there 06BB. Now let's come back to our member server. Now why I have created this video, uh, that is not a simple reason that I want to show you how to configure uh, NIC teaming and how to go for the DSCP reservation. The reason is a different one. The purpose of this video is a little bit interesting one. I was surfing on Microsoft TechNet forum and then I came across one issue mentioned by one user on that forum. So I thought, let me try to set up the same scenario in my virtual lab. Uh, let me show you that link on uh, internet. Uh, this was the uh, question which was asked by some user over there. DSCP assigned addressing and NIC teaming. See, before this, I never thought that I will use DSCP reservation with NIC teaming. But when I see this question that time, uh, I thought that which will be the MAC address? See, we have a total three adapters on our server. So which MAC address will be used by our team adapter for the reservation purpose? So is there any rule or something? So I did certain things on Microsoft website and then I found out about this. Here you can see when you configure NIC team with switch independent mode and either address has or dynamic load distribution, the team use the MAC address of the primary NIC team member on outbound traffic. And that's the reason when we configure NIC team on our server that time, as you have seen at the time, Ethernet and Ethernet 3 adapter was initially in faulty mode. The only adapter first was in active state that was Ethernet 2. And that's the reason that why our team has a MAC address of our Ethernet 2 adapter. And that by using that MAC address, we have created a reservation on DSCP server. So that was the interesting thing about that. So whenever you create uh, NIC team on Windows server, the first adapter is considered as a primary adapter and that primary team members MAC address will be used by your NIC team. So there will be no problem. But here one thing is mentioned on this website is in most situations, this doesn't cause a problems, but there are a few cases where issues might arise. So till now I haven't faced any issue. If I try to disable that the primary adapter, uh, that is in our case, it is Ethernet 2, let's disable it. 
and if you see the speed it will be 2.0 and if i try to release and renew the ip address at the time of releasing as you can see it is taking time it doesn't happen instantly that used to because whenever you release ip address that time it will be a very quick one but here it is taking time and let's go for the renewal as well we are waiting for that that uh, dhcp server assign the reserved ip or some other ip as well okay as you can see we are getting that uh, ip address that is 172.18.72.111 so we are getting the ip address which we have created under reservation but the mac address still the mac address as you can see 06 bb so it is coming from our primary adapter let's enable it and let's see the status after waiting for a few seconds now i can see ethernet 2 adapter is in active state and our speed is increased to 3.0 gbps so this is the way how we can configure nic teaming with dhcp reservation so if you face any problem when you are using nic teaming with dhcp reservation so mention that problem in uh, comment section so i can see that if anything is there or not because right now i'm not facing any problem related to this and that's it for this video demonstration thank you all for watching this video